Good morning, friends. Happy uh, Wednesday. Today is a special Wednesday because today we have parent-teacher conferences. So I am getting out of the house extra early today. I'm leaving at 6.30 and I'm gonna go grab Starbucks. Um, I'm actually getting myself a beverage as well as my uh, campus manager, Miss Sianna. She uh, bought me lunch the other day and so today I would like to treat her to coffee. So I'm on my way. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to use the drive-through today, which is brave because the drive through is usually kind of crowded, but since it's so early in the in the morning, I'm hoping that maybe today it isn't. And if it is, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So, Missiana wants a drink that is kind of difficult to order on the app. So, I'm gonna attempt to go through the drive through though, so that I can order her special drink. All right, friends, so I'm here. I got my Starbucks. I just got a Trenta iced coffee with vanilla and cream. Um, I need to send a video off to a collaborator this morning. I need to eat breakfast. I have my first parent-teacher conference at 7.30. They're all virtual, um, so that's kind of nice. It, it makes for a little bit less stress. Um, and I do need to empty out my lunchbox. Do you guys want to see what's in here today? <laughs> so exciting. I went a little bit crazy. I went a little bit crazy at the grocery store. I went to Trader Joe's last night. I do have two nights of conferences where I have to stay at school late. So I did get things that I don't normally buy, but that's okay. So I got a chicken Caesar salad kit. Not chicken Caesar, just Caesar. I have chicken. Um, I got a chicken Caesar salad kit. And I got some power greens to add in there. So this will probably be my dinner tomorrow because I have to stay until 7 tomorrow. And avocado to go in there. And then I do have some chicken. So that's probably going to be my dinner tomorrow. Snacks-wise, though, I brought some Genoa salami and provolone cheese. Snacking on. Uh, a rainbow wrap, a roasted sweet potato, curried hummus, beet, and spinach wrap from Trader Joe's. I've heard these are really good, so I'm gonna try one. And then I also got a buffalo style chicken wrap. I think this is what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. So that looks really tasty. And then um, I also brought a little adult Lunchable, like I call them, these are from Target. Um, I also brought some pub cheese. This is really nutritious, you guys. Um, it's only 70 calories for two tablespoons though. That ain't bad, there's only 700 calories in this entire jar. I mean, there, there's worse things you could eat. Um, and then I also got some whipped cream cheese because I do have some sweet peppers in my fridge that I want to dip into the cream cheese. So I'm just gonna put all of this in my fridge. I actually need to really organize my fridge. Look at this. It's kind of a mess in there. So I need to organize this and then I'm gonna get myself set up for my first conference and then get myself set up for the day. So today is Wednesday, it is a shorter day. Our Google Meets are a lot shorter today. They're 30 minutes instead of 45. And so today with my students, we're just gonna do a scavenger hunt kahoot. So that'll be really fun. And then tomorrow and Friday, I believe we're going to have some work days where students who are not caught up on their assignments get to just do their work with me right here in the Google Meet. So let me put this stuff away and then I'll catch up with you. So every day when I get here, which is usually between 7 and 7.30, I just get things ready for the day. I turn on all my computers. I get all of the things that I need for my Google Meets up on one window, and then I have a working window as well. So uh, basically, like I have Google Meet open, I have Google Classroom, I have Kahoot, I have Nearpod, I have Class Dojo, pretty much anything that I use during an actual Google Meet lesson, I have open. So um, that will be on one window. And then on the other window, I have all of the things that I use when I'm not with the kids, so like planning. So I have my email open, I have my Google Drive open, I have Nearpod open, so I'm editing and making uh, new things. And so I just try to get myself set up for the day. Um, and then I check all my emails. So I have a little to-do list that I write here. Um, this is just a little planner from the Target dollar spot. It looks like this. And what I like about it is that it is um, not marked by date. So I can go in here and write down whatever day it is and start listing my to-do list out. 
Um, and then I can also write things down in my agenda, my planner, if it's kind of like a further out to do list, something that I need to get done that's like way further away. Um, so I have that at the ready. So I am getting ready to start planning for next week, which is going to be us back in person, but I'm also starting to plan for social studies. Since it is February, I want to do some Black History Month stuff, even though it's not part of my technical standards, slavery and oppression are. And so I would really like to cover that. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to be doing a unit on the South American culture. So like Aztec, Mesoamerica, um, the Mayans, things like that. But every Friday during the month of February, I want to do a black history day. So we'll study oppression, slavery, um, famous black people, influential black leaders, things like that. So I've been perusing Teachers Pay Teachers um, just to find a couple of resources that I can use for that. My ELA teacher is freaking amazing. I honestly love her. Uh, her name is Maria and she actually just created a teacher Instagram. It's called electric.ela. So if you guys would do me a huge favor and go follow her on Instagram and show her some love, she has so many things to share. But anyway, her and I are going to be teaming up. She's going to be covering black history in her class a lot uh, with ELA. And then I will piggyback off of her on Fridays and do a social studies uh, focus. So um, really cool that we can collaborate. I, honestly, we were thinking about bringing this up to our principal that maybe next year she takes social studies just because science is really thick and heavy. Um, and social studies can really be covered in ELA. Not that I don't want to teach it, but I feel like I'm needing more time for science. So something that we're thinking about bringing to our principal. But anyway, her and I are teaming up, um, and so we need to get together today and kind of plan what we're going to do. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, I know that some of you guys follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, then you may not know this, but I did get a class pet. Her name is Templetina, and she is a five-month-old rat. So I did get her using a grant. It's a Pets in the Classroom grant. I use the rebate one, so basically just means that I can shop anywhere and then I will be reimbursed. So I did go last week and find little Miss Templetina and she's actually sleeping right now. You guys can see her little lump. Um, but when she comes out later, I will show her to you. I have invested quite a bit of my own money into her though because I feel like when I get a pet, I want it to become part of the family. So I did get her this like super luxurious cage. I got her one for my house as well uh, because I will be taking her home on the weekends. And then I did get her like a playpen and a little rat ball so that she can interact with the kids more. And um, I know what you're thinking, why did you get a rat? Well, there are a lot of reasons why rats make great pets, not just for classrooms, but in general. Uh, first of all, they're super cute and sweet. They form relationships with you kind of like, I mean, not like a dog, but similar to a dog or a cat. They recognize their owner and they can show that they're happy when they're with you. Um, they're super low maintenance. They're nocturnal, so during the day, she kind of just is lazy and sleeps and then at night she parties. So I don't have to take her out for walks. I don't have to give her exercise. I still do those things because I know that they're good for her, but I don't have to. Um, they're very clean. As you guys can see, her cage is really clean. Um, every day when I walk in the door, I take some rubber gloves. I go in, I grab her poop. I put it in her little litter box. I'm trying to litter box train her. Um, you don't really have to bathe them. They bathe themselves. They're easy to feed. So rats make amazing, amazing pets. Um, and they're also super friendly. So the more you handle them, the more friendly they are and the more less likely they are to bite. And I have not been bitten yet. So um, I've already had quite a few kids come in here, um, just kids whose parents work here, um, come and hang out with uh, little Templetina and they just love her already. So a uh, pet in the classroom is definitely motivating as well as um, I'm going to be using her as a reward. So students who earn a certain amount of dojo points will get to spend them on spending time with Temple Tina. And I purchased this playroom <laughs> specifically for that reason. I'll, I'll be able to have a kid, um, you know, take their shoes off, go in with Tina and get to hang out with her for quite some time. And she can crawl around on them and they can pet her and it's a kind of safe environment for Templetina and for the student to be able to interact. So 
that is why I got a rat and I absolutely love her. She's like my little buddy. It's been great having her here with me um, during all of this virtual stuff because I am sitting in here alone most of the time. So anyway, um, I do have my first um, conference coming up here in like four minutes. So I'm going to go get ready for that and then I'll see you guys. Ethan, we're playing draw a Do you want to draw with us? The password is the same as the room name. Join us. I got it. I barely get any of them right. You got it? Yeah. Oh, I haven't figured it out yet. Did I guess it? Who's your dad? Who's your dad? You guys and your nicknames. Mama, your dad. I was thinking maybe it was a pillow, but that's too many letters. Listen, I have no idea what this item is, so I just drew whatever. It's a, a blackboard. blackboard? That's like the whiteboard in class. It's just the chalkboard. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, it's my turn. Ooh, I'm going to make you guys work. Oh. <laughs> okay. Color. Batman. No. Wow, that is the worst looking. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> yeah! Miss Valdez? <laughs> yeah. I got it like at the last minute. Well, you still got it. Ooh, ooh is drawing. Miss Valdez. <laughs> Who is ooh, ooh? <laughs> what? Miss Valdez is Camden's uwu. Here's little Miss Tina. Baby. She's out for some fun with Mama. <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah, good book. Find the closest book. Let me see what's in there. Let me see. Hold them up. Ooh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I got the newest Diary of a Wimpy Kid book, guys. When we get back, we got the newest one. Pokemon. What you got, Julie? Adam's family. Uh, Annabelle, what book do you have? Captain Underpants. That's a classic, Mari. The Giver, Natalie. Have you been reading it? It's good, huh? Ooh, we got the long ball up there, Eli. Miss Valdez. Ooh, Cam's got a whole series of books. Miss Valdez. Mm-hmm. My grandpa went off to a collector of Bible, so he actually gave the book from there. Oh, that is so cool. What do you put on your on before your shoes to keep your toes from getting blue? I've got my cheetah socks today. Miss Valdez, I have my Crocs too. Do you? Are we Crocs sisters? Let me see the socks, guys. Let's see them. Ooh, we got fuzzy socks. We got white socks. We got striped socks. Because normally I don't care my socks matching. Normally the foot right here would be gray and right here would be white and this would be gray and this would be white. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry, I'm switching cameras here. Okay. Let's see what the next clue is because we got 10 more minutes. Okay. From dirt to paint and everything between. I'm your number one companion in keeping clean. Let's see all the good soap out there. Let's see it. Purely clean. What kind of flavors we got? Ooh, Dylan, I have that same soap at home. We got some Dawn soap. We got some bar soap. Mrs. Meyer seems to be the popular soap of the day. I don't have soap. That's okay, Zach. Yeah, I would just hang out with you guys live. So, I'm eating a rainbow wrap from Trader Joe's. It is delicious, by the way. It would be really good with, like, a dipping sauce. And then I'm also eating some cream cheese with some sweet peppers. So, I had a visitor show up. <laughs> And he came just to see her. Yeah. Just to see you. Bless you. I mean, you got allergies? I don't know if rats can get allergies, but you got allergies? It's always sneezing. She might. I hope she's not sick. <gasps> you got... Ashley was saying if they sneeze a lot, they either they're just sneezy rats or they're sick. I don't think she's sick, though. You got the Rona? Oh, no. <laughs>
Okay guys, so I am sitting here waiting for my next conference to begin. The last one was a no-show. Um, they did have some technical difficulties. We were able to contact them um, and they were trying to get on with their personal computer. And because of our Google um, suite, I guess, because they weren't on their school computer, they were not able to get on. So we did have to reschedule that one because we have one starting in about six minutes. So. Um, that was kind of a, an upset and that was a conference that we really need to have. So hopefully we will get that figured out for next week. Um, we do have it rescheduled, so hopefully they will be able to get on. Um, but the rest of our conferences today are really awesome. They are some really amazing kiddos and, um, I'm really eager to talk to their parents and let them know how good they're doing. Um, and then I think my day is over today at 530. So. I will probably eat dinner here, go home, and then Cash has swimming. So if anything else fun, exciting happens before then and now, I will let you know. Okay, you guys, so it is the end of my day. Uh, we just wrapped up our last conference. Tina was out hanging out with me for the whole thing, huh, baby? Weren't you? Weren't you? Hi, sweetie. I just love her, you guys. I just love her. She just hangs out. She snuggles up on my desk. She walks around on my shoulders. I just love her. She's so a great companion. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get myself packed up here. Scott is picking Cash up from preschool, and then we do have swim lessons tonight. So I'm going to hurry up and get home and uh, try to feed him and then wrap it up and go to swimming. All right, you guys, so it is now 7.40 p.m. We just got back from swimming. I had every intention of filming him and like making a little part of the vlog for him swimming, but I honestly was just enjoying watching him. So anyway, we just got home at 7.40. We stopped and grabbed Raising Cane's for dinner. I know, super healthy. I got the little chicken sandwich. Um, so we're gonna eat and then get Cash to bed, and then you guys, I'm gonna do it all again tomorrow. So exciting. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on my Twitch account at Apples and Tiaras and of course, Instagram at Apples and Tiaras. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.